Murphy, guys. This is what we're doing. This is a movie that I don't think many people have actually seen, but I figured that I would check it out. I try to watch at least one foreign movie a year, and I realized that, oh shit, I have yet to watch one this year, so I decided, I talked about this one, a movie preview. I saw that it was available online, so I figured that I would watch it, and that is none other than a Norwegian film called Thelma. And what Thelma is essentially about is we center on the aforementioned Thelma. She is a um, student, a new college student who she grew up in a very religious background and she's now moving to college and, you know, she keeps in touch with her parents every now and then, but she starts to fall in love with this one girl and through this experience she starts to realize that her certain feelings that she's having might trigger these extremely inexplicable powers that she can't fully comprehend and basically the rest of the film is her trying to grasp what's really going on here her kind of gaining control and really what these powers really do mean for her and that's really all i'm gonna say so Thelma in general, to be completely honest with you guys, I knew nothing about this movie going into it. I just saw the trailer, which I thought looked mediocre at best. I didn't think it looked anything that amazing. But let me be clear with you, most foreign trailers I watch, I don't particularly like. Why? I think it's because it's hard to sell a movie that is, you know, from another country to someone who's not from that, you know, specific area. Um, it just as an example, like the movie L that I reviewed last year, the trailer for that portrays it as this like lifetime esque film, and it's it's nothing like that. It's just it, it's a hard it's hard to sell it. That's that's what I'm trying to say here. But in general, I was very much uh, not really knowing what I was gonna get out of Thelma. I thought it you know like I said, look me over best. I just checked it out, and I have to say I'm really glad I did because honestly, I really enjoyed this movie. Thelma is a very different, very creative film that is in some ways a superhero origin story in a very different type of manner, but also is something else entirely, and we're just gonna get into it right now, starting off with the cast. And for a film like this that is so weird and different, it really does require uh, a really great cast, and for someone to really bring it. And uh, thankfully, this cast is comprised of some very talented individuals who I think all pretty much give very noteworthy performances. Uh, easily, though, the standout here is Ailey Harbo as the character of Thelma, who is fantastic in this movie. What I really love about her performance, though, is that it's very quiet. Thelma is very timid. She's someone who has a hard time making friends at first, and that really got us to connect to her character. You know, she feels very grounded in reality, and that's something I really do love. So when these un, un you know, otherworldly forces start to kind of take control of her, it really does make us care for this character. I thought it was a very smart choice to make her, like I said, very just quiet and very reserved in that manner and she gets more and more sort of um confident throughout this film and we really start to see what her powers can do and when they start to manifest that's when she becomes more and more interesting but she really did an incredible job here she has such uh amazing just, just amazing presence in the film for sure i really love what she did here like i said it r really does um require a lot of an actor what she has to do but thankfully she really does rise to the occasion and she absolutely killed it here but someone else i really want to talk about is kaya wilkins as the character of anya and anya is the girl that thelma starts to fall in love with and she did a really good job here she doesn't have like a ton to do in the movie but she shines really well in some very quiet scenes particularly a scene involving the two just talking about uh, the differences in their home life and uh, the different, you know, type of upbringings they had. And I thought it was honestly really good. I really liked the contrast between the two. I thought she did a really great job here. And her performance, like I said, was also very strong. And then the rest of the cast here I thought was also really good. Uh, Ellen Dora Peterson as Uni, who is Thelma's mother, she was fantastic here. I thought she did a really great job. As well as Henrik uh, Ra Ra uh, Raphaelson as uh, Trond. He is this father who he's got a great relationship with Thelma, but there's this very sort of it's it I don't know it's it's very creepy. There's this very eerie sort of sense to him. There's just something off about this character, and he really does a great job throughout the film. Really, everyone here I thought absolutely killed it. I don't think there was a single weak performance in the cast, and uh, I was definitely very impressed here.
So now let's get to the directing and the writing, which I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat. Uh, I don't think this movie's perfect. I didn't say, you know, I didn't say it was perfect for a reason. And it's not necessarily because while there are significant flaws with this movie, it's not necessarily because I think it's a problem with the film. It's that most of this movie, I didn't really understand. I I'm going to be honest with you. I a lot of it I did. There were definitely things that I really enjoyed, and there were definitely things that I saw what they were trying to do, but there were quite a few motifs and things like that that I just did not understand, so... It could be because I'm just not, I'm too, I'm not smart enough for this movie. This movie just in general is too smart for me and it's not on my intelligence level, which that has happened quite a lot. Um, but if you're wondering why I'm not giving you an analysis of this film, it's because I don't understand it. I definitely do want to watch it again, but I just don't really understand. But I will say here, the directing here by Joe Kim Trier uh, definitely does stand out. Because like I said, he has a very distinct style to this movie. And there's this sense of dread throughout the whole film. Even though things are going great for Thelma. You know, she's starting to blend in in college. And she's starting to acclimate to that setting. And she's starting to gain new friends. There's just a constant sense of dread. And a constant sense of something very bad is about to go wrong and I, I really did love that induced fear throughout the movie that that tone was just very well realized here and I definitely really did like the way that was portrayed um I thought that was definitely very well done. There are definitely some very chilling moments throughout this film that definitely did throw me off, and it was in a good way. I think he intentionally meant to throw us off, and I, I was very impressed with the way that was done. I thought there was some really, like I said, creepy moments here as well, and I was definitely very impressed with the directing. But some of the quieter moments also really did stick out to me. Like I said, scenes that Thelma has with the students she meets, I think are some of the best scenes in the whole film. I think they really do highlight the type of lifestyle she has, um, how great of an actor she really is and just in general I thought they did a really great job uh, with the directing but the writing is really what stuck out to me here because the writing is very different from other films I've seen of its kind like I said we're essentially kind of dealing with a superhero origin story, only it's a lot more twisted, a lot more messed up than you would expect it to be and it goes in some really insane directions. I mean, this movie starts off, and it's already insane, I'm not gonna spoil, but the opening scene is just, holy shit. I mean, I have not seen an opening scene that crazy in a while, and it perfectly just puts you into how manic of a film this is. I mean, this is one of those films where it gets more and more crazy as it goes on, and I thought it worked. I really did think it worked. I thought it wasn't something where, you know, it threw me off. I thought it made sense for this character because the more aware she starts to become of her abilities, the more she's going to try to use them to her advantage and to really perfect on them. But what I really loved about the film as well is that even though she does have these qualities, there are significant consequences that she does undergo. Certain choices that Thelma does make when she, you know, becomes um, aware of her powers uh, has a lot of ripple effects and things that she definitely did not intend to do and I thought that was definitely very well done here and the film really has a lot to say about the choices we make and how you know the long-lasting impact that a lot of those choices will have on either us or someone close to us and I thought the film definitely handled that very well but also like I said when Thelma starts to become aware of her abilities it doesn't really just affect her it affects pretty much everyone around her I mean talking her father her mother even Anya it really does start to to effect, which let's talk about Ani, because I really like Kaya Wilkins in this film, and as good as a character is, there just isn't really a lot to her, um, we find out, you know, briefly in the film that she didn't really have a great childhood and that her father's kind of absentee and she doesn't see him a lot, but, and she's got a mother who is kind of controlling, but other than that, we don't really see a lot more with her character, and I think it was intentional. I think it was, you know, I, I don't know why they really decided to do that. But for me, if they would have dived a little bit deeper into her character, I think it would have cared about their relationship even more. Because I still very much did care about their relationship. I still did care where they went with her. But just in general, I felt like there was a lack of depth that was needed with Anya that just unfortunately wasn't there. And especially once a certain event happens in the film... It just didn't feel as impactful as I think they wanted it to be, just because Anya wasn't as full fleshed out as a character as I think she could have been. But again, other I, I did think that they did great stuff with her. I thought we got just enough with her. It just, from in my opinion, wasn't as good as it could have been. I think they definitely could have done just a little bit more with her here and there. Um, 
But like I said, all the other writing here is just so well done, particularly scenes where, you know, she's in the off, you know, where she's uh, at a doctor and they're trying to get her to understand her abilities, which her father actually is a doctor. So he knows very well what's going on. And there's a lot of family secrets that she finds out and things like that. I thought all that stuff was definitely very well done. Uh, the cinematography here, let me just say, is gorgeous. I mean, this is some of the best cinematography I have seen all year. It's so distinctive. It's so out out there and weird but like I said it has this very realistic feel to it, and that's something I definitely really did love about the film that I definitely really did enjoy uh, but going to the cinematography like I said there's a lot of motifs here that I just don't understand particularly this snake that keeps popping up throughout the film which I can understand if someone finds it pretentious I didn't I know it definitely represents something I know there's definitely a reason why it's there I just don't know what it means I really don't and it's it's not a gripe on the director. It has nothing to do with that. I'm not saying that Joachim Trier should remove that snake from the story because I think it absolutely does mean something. I just have no idea what it is. I, I really don't understand what the snake is about. There's also a scene towards the end of the film that I don't... A lot of things that go down at the end, I don't really understand it all, and I... Uh, Again, props to the director for going out there. I always do, you know, credit a director for doing something really weird and really different and risky, and I mean... It's risky, but it's not because most foreign films, you know, are a lot weirder than films that are made today, and that's definitely the case. I mean, Norwegian, it's it's a weird area. For I don't know if it's a weird area necessarily, but d definitely Norwegian in general. Uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, areas out there. And, uh, you know, I, I, it's, there's definitely some weird stuff they go to in this film. It goes to some really weird territory, and I, I thought it was welcomed. I was very impressed with the way it was done. Uh, the score as well, I loved. It's very eerie, and uh, again, it gives you that constant sense of dread, and I was definitely impressed with the way that was done. And the editing, I will admit, I did think that the first act did drag just a little bit. It took me a little while to actually fully get into this film. Uh, once she met up with Anya, then I was pretty much locked in from then, but there were a couple scenes I did think that dragged on just a little bit too long, um, but everything else here is very well done. Like I said, the film has a lot to say about certain feelings that one has and how that affects someone and, you know, uh, certain choices we make. All that stuff I thought was definitely very interesting. And it was actually very relatable as well. Like, it really gets into the idea of someone who is in college and doesn't really know what they want to do with their life. And I think that was also very well done. Also, the film doesn't do too much with her religious background. I thought they were going to do a bit more with it, but they, they kind of do, but they kind of don't. And I wish they would dive a little bit deeper into it but again a lot of these flaws could just be because i didn't fully understand the film and i'm well aware of that you know most of these flaws maybe if i start to think more about the film maybe i'll start to understand okay this is why the director made that choice this is why anya isn't given a lot of character this is why thelma's you know religious stuff isn't as prominent as it should be uh this is why these certain things happen in the end you know maybe i'll start to make sense of it it's just right now i'm a little perplexed with a lot of stuff that went down in this film and again that's not saying that the film was bad i thought this was a very well done film i really loved how different and weird it was and i want to see more stuff like this i really do i mean like i said it's very much a superhero origin story but not in the way you would expect it to it's definitely more of a horror thriller-esque film than it is a superhero film and that's something i definitely was very impressed by thelma is easily one of the most original films i've seen in a while i definitely encourage you guys to see it's not for everyone i'll say that there are people who are going to absolutely hate this movie i can already think of a few people offhand that i know personally that'll probably hate this movie uh but personally for me i love this movie i thought it was definitely very well done and it's definitely something I want to check out again very soon, and I'm definitely going to give Thelma overall a B+. Plus. So over guys from you, Thelma, let me know what you guys thought of this overall, love your thoughts in it. Also, like I said, sorry I didn't give you guys a um, analysis. I really wanted to. I wanted to analyze the film and go a little more in depth, but I just, I didn't fully understand. I really didn't. I'm sorry about that, but I just didn't fully understand the film. But maybe you guys did. Maybe you guys have a good interpretation. If you guys do, you can PM me or anything like that, but that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys in my next video, and we'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.